we've been very proud of Jerry uh, down through the years, uh, as well as his family. When former Utah Jazz coach Jerry Sloan died in May of last year, fans remembered what his teams accomplished on the basketball court. A lot to remember there, but in Sloan's hometown of McLeansboro, Illinois, he and his late wife Bobby are remembered as benefactors and role models. Fox 13 reporter Nate Carlisle went there and found the Sloan legacy is alive and well. When you pull into McLeansboro, Illinois, one of the first sites is Hamilton County Junior and Senior High School. It sits on Jerry Sloan Drive. And if you follow the drive around to the back of the school, you find the gymnasium named for the former Utah Jazz coach. I probably first met Coach Sloan in fourth grade at his basketball camp here in town. Doug Miller is the boys' basketball David coach for Sloan's for old team the Hamilton County High School Foxes. Well, he's known as a fabulous fox. He's, he's the fabulous fox for sure. McLeansboro isn't just where Jerry and Bobby Sloan were from. The couple and their three children moved back to McLeansboro in the years where Jerry is between coaching the Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz, and the family came back here every off season. And we have a very special guest with us this evening. Here's Sloan on a local sports show in 2012 as the gymnasium was being named for him. Good evening, basketball fans. Welcome here to Jerry Sloan Gym. Hamilton, Hamilton County County's has always been a special place for me, and I just felt like it's the right place to be here most of the time. We've been very proud of Jerry uh, down through the years, uh, as well as his family. Dick Dietz has been mayor here since 1993. Before that, he went to high school with Jerry and Bobby Sloan. They enjoyed McLeansboro when they'd come down here to visit. Uh, maybe run to get a bite to eat someplace and uh, just sit and talk a while. Jerry and Bobby were also benefactors. Their names can be found on a McLeansboro playground and basketball and tennis courts. And they gave money for improvements at a local lake where the couple walked. The gifts have gone a long way in a 3,000 person town where the median incomes are below the Illinois and U.S. averages. Back at the high school, Jerry Sloan's trophy case sits next to that of his son, Brian who in 1984 was Mr. Basketball in the state of Illinois and pushed the Foxes to a state championship. For years, McLean was ran a lot of the jazz plays. Above Jerry Sloan Court hangs not just Jerry Sloan's photo, but a photo of the team his daughter Holly played on. The squad won third place in the state tournament in 1987. And I had players call me and say, hey coach, we're, we're doing the Utah Jazz four cross play or post high cross series. I'm like, yeah, we, we all learned from the same guy. It's kind of cool, honestly. You go, I have a bunch of friends from other places, and you talk about Jerry Sloan. They all know him as the jazz coach, but I know him as the dude from McLeansboro that played basketball. It will be a year ago this month that Jerry Sloan died. His house on the edge of McLeansboro is for sale. Yet people here think the Sloan name will live on more than buildings or trophies. Our basketball team has a Jerry Sloan award, and that goes to the, the kid who has the most guts and hustles and and that's a big award for McLean's Rough Foxes basketball. If you get the Jerry Sloan Award, you've done something. In McLeansboro, Illinois, I'm Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah. Nicknamed the original bull, Jerry Sloan spent most of his basketball playing career with the Chicago Bulls. Sloan played 755 regular NBA games, 51 playoff games, and two All-Star games. He was part of six All-Defensive Team awards.